Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's new makeup releases. We are going to chat about the new makeup that's been released, announced and sneak peeked and I am going to let you know whether or not I want to pick them up or if we we're leaving it in the store. <laughs> I was going to say never to be seen again. That turned out to be quite dramatic. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. Let's jump in. <laughs> I did film this look. I think it's a very, very cute look. I'm feeling very, I don't know, almost like a sexy cartoonish. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. But it's the new collection by Simply Posh Cosmetics. I'm not 100% sure when this one is releasing, but I'll try and have a pinned comment down below with at least some of the things that I have on my face and on my lips in case you are interested. And all of the things that I'm going to be talking about is going to be in the description box down below. Those links are going to be affiliated. The codes are probably going to be affiliated as well. And I do earn a small commission if you do shop through my links and codes. And if you do, Thank you so much for literally keeping this channel afloat. And yeah, let's jump in. I feel like there are some really, really fun things this week. There is a dog here under me. Let me see if I can scoochie scoochie without like quite literally running him over. So the first thing I want to talk about is the new collection by Udensai. This is the Christmas collection. This is being released today. It's being released at um, 8 a.m. Central Time. It's already available. I hope you set your alarms. I don't know if this is selling out or not. I'm not 100% sure. I know that these Christmas palettes, the Christmas Eve and the Merry Christmas palette from last year, they were super popular last year. But also remember that a bunch of people did buy them last year. So I'm not sure if they're going to sell out this year. And then they also came up with two new palettes, which is the Snowman, I think, and the Reindeer palette. I don't remember the names of them. I for some reason don't have them here either but they're very beautiful palettes i do have a full video on these showing you some swatches showing you some looks talking a little bit more about this release you can use my code and you can get 10 percent off at wooden's eye and they're available i will link them down below I truly love these. I mean, I love Udensai. I really do. There is a reason why I work with the brand. It's because I really like their formula. I think it works beautifully for me. It's one of my favorite formulas to work with. So I think this is a wonderful release. I would definitely highly suggest you to check it out a little bit more, but I will leave the video down below as well in case you were interested. Also, something that is, I don't know. I don't know if this has been revealed yet or not, but I do have the palette here because the brand has shown the outside and also like a sneak peek um, and also asked me if they could use some of the uh, content that I've created for this palette in, in their promo. So that picture slash pictures, whatever they choose to do, is going to be sponsored content on Instagram, but this is not going to be sponsored here. I already created all of my content for this release for Cosmic. I think it's Cosmic Beauty now instead of Cosmic Brushes. I think they're doing, they're switching because of course now it's not just brushes, they're doing makeup as well. So I'm gonna tr uh, try to refer to this brand as Cosmic Beauty. So this is the Winter Wonderland palette. And like I said, I did film my video, create all my content, do all my swatches, my looks, everything. And then after everything was already created, I already filmed my video, even edited it and put it up on YouTube. She asked me if she could use some of my content as sponsored on Instagram. So the, the content that's gonna be here on YouTube is not, sponsored but she did pay me for some of the things on instagram i just want to be 100 percent transparent this video is going live today honestly it might already be live and as soon as it goes live i will put it in the description box and you can use my code here as well and get 10 percent off on this palette or of any of the other palettes I think it is launching on the 17th yeah it's launching on the 17th and i think this is going to be the only one that's in stock then but i know she is restocking a bunch of the other things in a while. It's like it's heading towards her. If you were interested in any of the other products from Cosmic Brushes, Cosmic Beauty, I did actually create a playlist with all the reviews I've done of the brand's products in case you were interested in hearing some other thoughts. Overall, again, this is also a formula that I get along with very well. I think they have an absolutely beautiful formula. Okay, let us talk about something. We did talk about the sneak peek about this one. Was that also last week? I feel so. And that is the Carly Bible uh, brand. So this brand, it is called the Beauty by Belle. And it is a vegan and cruelty-free brand. And it is going to be an eyeshadow palette, a magic eyeliner. I didn't... 
watch the reveal video because it happened when Samantha's here. I'm actually going to watch the reveal video after this because I want to see some thoughts about this. It's going to be highlighters in several colors, matte velvet lipsticks, bullets, several colors, lip liners, and lip glosses. And you see a collage here with all of the things. I want to go and I want to talk about the palette. I think and this is just me, this is exactly what I expected this to be. Um, this is very the makeup style that Carly Bible does, and honestly, I think it makes sense. I also, see, this is where I'm, 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 I feel like I'm standing with one leg in two different camps. One leg is like, yes, when you release something, it should be very true to you. It should be something that's that's like that you can stand behind. But on the other side, I'm also like, this isn't a collab. This is a full brand. And you cannot only do things that is like, because I feel like when you do a collab, do something that's you. Like I did a purple and blue palette. That's not for everyone, but it's very me. I felt like I needed to be true to me. But like when you release your own brand, you kind of need to be appealing like to the masses as well. And I do feel like some of this is looking a little 2016. With that being said, and listen, I'm, I'm just, I'm feeling the air. I think that 2016, 17, 18 makeup is coming back. Not, maybe not next year, maybe the year after, who knows, but I, I definitely feel like we're a full swing into the no makeup makeup. It's gonna come back, so maybe this is the return, who knows? It's at least very true to her aesthetics. It is launching on the 11th, which is tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central Time. Um, do I want to pick this up? I, here's the thing. If I were to buy this, I would probably have to buy like one of each. And I really, I don't know what to do with that eyeshadow palette. I don't think that it would be one of those like, oh, I, I don't know what to do. Of course, I know what to do with the palette. But it's just like, it is very generic neutral palette. And I don't know if I need that in my life. I think the highlighters are the ones that look the most interesting to me. I don't know. I would love to hear your thoughts about this. I fully realize that like this brand is not made for me. It's not made for me. It's not made for people who like this dramatic eye makeup in like colors. Even though I will say, I mean, this isn't neutral colors, but it's more like a lot of people that love neutrals still love pinks and reds. So I feel like I'm kind of safe, but I don't know. I would love, love to hear your thoughts about this. Personally, I think I'm going to skip. But it's not because I think it's ugly. I think it's because I don't know if I would fully enjoy it. And also I'm trying to save money. I will talk more about that in the future. I, there are some fun things happening. Ooh, there are some fun things happening. Let me tell you that. Ooh, now we also know the full, um, the collab that's happening between Nicola Rose and BK Beauty is... Asked me and Samantha guest last week. I did this video together with Samantha March. My friend was here visiting for a week. This is a brush set. And I do think the brush set looks really good. It is seven different brushes. It seems to be three eye brushes and four face brushes. My dog is so dramatic down here. I don't know if you can hear him. I think the fully black handles is super beautiful. Everything looks really pretty. I will say they the, the full set is $180, which for seven brushes is pretty high. And I think a lot of work probably has gone into this. I think the, the the look of the brushes, everything looks really beautiful. It's just that is um, that is a lot of money. That is a lot of money, um, but I'm sure they're going to be great. I'm sure they're going to be great. Um, I really do. I, are they going to be sold individually? I think they're only sold as a set and they are available now. I'm sure, like I said, they're going to be great, but $180 is a lot of money. Speaking of a lot of money, I saw this. This isn't even makeup, but this is from Prada Beauty. Prada's releasing candles. These are $75 each. I love Prada. Prada's one of my favorite brands, but like... <laughs> $75 and one is in iris, one is a vanilla, one is a cedar wood and citrus and one is a ylang ylang and I'm like I'm sure these are great but 75 I don't know if I'll ever be there where I can spend $75 on a candle. On a candle? You know you're actually burning your money. 
it's not even like a saying anymore. Like you are burning your money. I don't know. I don't know if even Prada can convince can convince me to do uh, something like that. If we're gonna be honest. Ooh, Bella Beauté. Well, let's talk about some indie. Indie. My heart would always beat for indie makeup. My absolute favorite. Bella Beauté Bar is releasing a bejeweled palette. This is releasing on the 17th. This is a 20 pan eyeshadow palette featuring popular matte formula. Yes, amazing matte formula. Duochromes, multichromes, and metallics. And I'm excited about that. I'm excited there are different formulations. There's not a price going on right here. You can get 10% off with my code. I will say, I think it is a really nice dual tone palette, and the only thing I'm missing is an inner corner highlight. Again, I can fix that from another palette. I have so many beautiful shades from Bella Beauté Bar. Only when I'm looking at this palette, I'm like, there's not an inner corner shade for me. Again, I can sort that, but I am excited about the color story for sure. They did send this one to me, so I will use it on my channel one way or another. We have another sneak peek as well, and this is from Ensley Rain, and they are releasing a bigger palette, which is called the Lands of Enchantment, I think. Yeah, Lands of Enchantment. This is just a sneak peek. Basically, they're showing the palette. I think that they also have a picture where it's like in black and white. Um, I don't think, usually when they've come this far in showing like sneak peeks, it's probably gonna be like revealed or released in a week or two. It does look like it could be a, I'm thinking a purple blue palette with a mix of a pinks probably too, with a mix of pastels with some darker shades because there are some depth in the pictures as well. I don't know, I think it looks really pretty. I did not pick up that Mad Hatter palette, mainly because um, I just, I couldn't review another palette at that point. Might pick up this one instead. If it's like a color story that I feel I can get on board with, again, you can get some money off um, if you use my code. Speaking of another uh, eyeshadow palette that's a sneak peek, this is also in black and white. How do you feel about sneak peeks? This is how I feel about sneak peeks. This is the Adept palette. It's obviously alien themed. This is how I feel about sneak peeks. I don't mind sneak peeks, even the black and white, if the release is no longer than two weeks away. That's how I feel. Listen, we all need to do some marketing. We all need to like, because also like, I, I know this for myself from, from having collabs, from having my own brand. When you're about to reveal something, when you're about to release something, you're so excited and you're so proud and you're like jittery and you're like, I cannot wait to show people about this. So I totally understand the, the want, the almost like need to be able to show something. I just want to talk about it. I just want to show something where I feel like it gets me a little bit like, ugh, okay, maybe not show me this far in advance is honestly because I know that this one is being released in 2024. I think this is a little bit too far in advance. Again, I understand that like you're so excited about your project, but I really, really feel like, and this, I don't feel like Adept has ever had that problem, but there has been indie brands that has shown sneak peeks way ahead of time. And then projects have changed. They had to scrap projects and it just ends up being them showing sneak peeks of things that they never release, which again has never happened with Adept, but it has happened to other brands. So I do wish that brands like would keep the sneak peeks to like just before launch. They know stuff is coming in. They know everything's been approved. It's literally about to launch. But again, this is just my personal opinion. I would love to hear your thoughts about this. And I am very intrigued to see how this palette looks. It seems to be two rows of shimmers, uh, one row of mattes, which is not my absolute favorite dividing of uh, shades, but I will say that the cosmetics has really nice shades. There's also been a sneak peek from Pat McGrath. Um, I don't know what this is gonna be, but at least just from these pictures, listen, at least from these pictures, it, it's blue and silver. Watch Pat McGrath make this into pink and gold. Maybe it's the inverted filter. But at least I feel like with this, this is not going to be pink and gold, right? Are we, are we getting pink and gold anyways? Watch this be a blue mascara. <laughs> Watch this be a blue eyeliner and it's like, yes, that's what you get. That's as far as I can stretch. <laughs> There's also a new concealer from Estee Lauder. This is the Futuristic Soft Touch Brightening Skin Sealer. 
It didn't really roll off the tongue now, did it? 30 shades, brightening concealer, medium to full coverage, long wearing, improves skin's hydration and ra radiance over time. Plumps, hydrates, smooths. E that makes me a little worried that it's going to be one of those that crease very easily on me. I'm actually wearing and I feel like... I'm going to... You can't see the inside anyways. I feel like this concealer that I'm wearing today is actually laying down pretty good. It's the new house. Labs concealer. I'm actually kind of enjoying it. I don't think that I will be picking this one up. It is available right now though, so I will link it down below in case you are interested. I've heard that a lot, like some people really like the um, like complexion products from Estee Lauder. And if you do, maybe this is perfect for you. Ooh, this one is also on its way to me and I'm so excited. This is the new palette, Dragon Eyeshadow Palette from What's Up Beauty. When I was at Cosmoprof, I went by a booth that I talked to that make make a packaging and they had this palette on display not the inside just the packaging and I was like oh did you know that this palette is not released yet it's not even announced yet they're like oh no we had no idea. so pretty so good the palette like just the packaging they are really bringing their A-game. What you see here, it's not even close to how amazing this palette is in real life. I think people are gonna gasp when they see it. I'm very impressed with like how this looks. I think in the mail that they sent me, they showed me the color story as well, although I cannot really remember what it was, but we'll talk more about this when I know more because like I said, it's coming my way and I'm excited. I'm a little confused what this is, but Michaela did some kind of a promo video with KVD Beauty and they do say Michaela times KVD Beauty, basically like a collab or like, and I don't understand if it's the, the promo that's the collab or if it's like, that I don't, I don't know what the actual collab is. But it says KVD Beauty uh, by Michaela J Makeup. Michaela never does just one thing and neither are you. KVD makes makeup for when you want to follow the rules plus for when you just want to say F it. Honestly, I cannot tell you what this is. I am so unsure if this is an actual collab or if they are just collabing on a campaign. Time will tell. Ooh, Viseart has released more palettes. Per usual, the Viseart campaign pictures are taken in a light. This is the kind of lighting that makes your palettes look dull and kind of desaturated. And I, I they probably don't look like this in real life. At least they're probably a little bit more saturated in real life. There... Some makeup photography just isn't my... I don't like to make a photography when somebody makes the palette look like something it's not. I hate that. Like when it's taken in a blurry and like everything looks extra sparkly or that filter that just sparkles or when people turn the saturation all the way up. I don't like that. But why on earth are we not taking promo pictures to at least make the palette look like its best version? This is a Monday version. I want it to look like Saturday, seven o'clock before you hit the club's version, which is not my version ever, but like you get it. Like I need it to be like its best version and I don't feel like this is, and I don't know what that is, but this is the new palette by Viseart and it is a two new Autendu palettes and it is a Violet Vespertine and a Cash Cashmere Shermes. Uh, sorry for butchering your language. I am really sorry. The packaging is beautiful. Um, neither of these color stories are for me. What I don't understand is that like they already have the Violet Autendu. Did they really need the Violet Vespertine Autendu? They're not that different. It's just like a muted version. It's like a worse version. Okay, I said it. Somebody needed to say it, it's gonna be me. This is a more boring and bland version of the Violet Attendu, which is an amazing palette. If you're looking for a purple palette by Viseart, don't get this one. Get the original uh, Violet Attendu, that's beautiful. What is this? I don't get this. I don't understand. 
I don't understand. Let's leave that. Kylie's coming up with some new things and she's coming up with lip liners and blushes. And I think this is... Lip liners might be new, but I think the blushes might be cream blushes in new colors. Yeah, new shades. Oh, maybe the lip liners are new shades too. So there are new... Five new colors of the bombs, the bomb blushes, and 10 new colors of the lip liners. They're coming soon. Honestly, I think the colors look really nice. Those blush colors look very appealing, like very dark, going to a poppy pink. There's a muted peach. Also, the lip liner colors look beautiful. I think that this looks fairly appealing. Is Kylie still available at Ulta? I haven't been inside Ulta in a, I want to say a hot minute, but it's like a hot month. It's been so long. It's been like since before the summer. Oh, I saw this one dropping at Ulta, and this is the new Fenty Glitter Liners. They're only in three colors, and it is a metallic jewel tones. It's a silver, it's a purple, it's a blue. They look cute, but like three colors of like a metallic glittery eyeliner? I, I, I don't know. $24 each was not a horrific price for something like this. I guess it could be fun during the Christmas season, but like... There are so many super exciting liquid eyeliners at this point. Like, you can get multi-chrome eyeliners. But again, this is available in store. Like, I get it. I really do. I get it. Because people that buy stuff in store might not be looking at indie brands. But if you're looking at this and you're thinking like, wow, a fun like eyeliner for the holiday season. I'm just here to let you know that indie brands do this and probably better for less money. public announcement. Oh, speaking of like party things, this is from Moira. At least Moira is super ex like inexpensive. This is the hologram glitter gels. They are $7 each, 74 in a bundle. Do not get the bundle. No, put that thing back where it came from. You do not need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 glitter pots of gel glitter. Absolutely not. Put that thing back. You are not leaving the store with that. When are you using that? Mm? Tell me. When are you using 12 different glitter gels? Huh? 12 days of Christmas? A jar each day? No, we're not doing that. You don't need that. Save your money if you want this. And I think that this is a good idea. It is always good to have something like this in your arsenal for that occasion when you actually want to be sparkly. But pick one. Pick one and you'll be fine. It's only $7, but it stops being affordable if you buy all of them because you're not going to use all of them. You're not. Unless you're like actually a circus artist. If you are, sure. Sure, if you're trying to break into that field, go right ahead. Otherwise, put it back. We're not doing that. Ooh, L'Oreal is releasing a new mascara. I know a lot of people really love the L'Oreal mascaras. This is the Voluminous Panorama Washable Mascara in three different shades. <sighs> black, black, brown, and black is black. Three different shades. It is $15.99. It is supposed to have a 24-hour wear and be clump, flake, and smudge resistant, which I think is what a lot of people are uh, looking for. It is going to be at Ulta. It's dropping today. And it's going to be in stores uh, January 14th. Oh. Uh, oh. The waterproof will be at Ulta December 15th. Okay, so they're going to be online in 2023, and then they're coming in stores in 2024. I don't know. I don't know. I, I will say I'm the person that like, I don't get super excited about a mascara, but when I try a mascara I really like, I cannot stop raving about it. So I feel like I can't say like, oh, I don't care about mascara because I do <laughs> when I find one that's really good. I'm just not the person that's out here buying all mascaras. Oh, let's talk about these new blushes from uh, Give Me Glow. They're coming out with a, a couple of new blushes. They're launching on Black Friday and they have even more new blushes. I really like, I mean, the, the variation and the amount, I think they press their own blushes, right? Because it would otherwise be really expensive to make this many different shades if you, they were doing, someone else was doing it for them. Because, I mean, when they press them themselves, they can do, do five of each if they want to. But I do think the colors look really pretty. I like that there's are the pinks, they're mauve, some are leaning a little bit more red, some are leaning a little bit more cool tone. I think they look really in in intriguing. I've never tried their blush formula, but I will say these look nice. 
Glaminatrix has released their Fairy Lights palette for Christmas. It is uh, five different metallic shades and one holographic metallic shade. I've told you this before, Glaminatrix has an amazing metallic formula, truly is a high intensity, wet looking metallic. It's a really good metallic. So if you were looking for something like this, I can tell you right now, this is gonna be great quality because they really do be doing a really good metallic formula. I'm not all about the all like shimmer palettes, but I, I can almost promise you that the quality is gonna be great with this one. There is a new perfume from Tom Ford coming. It's called Assure, 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 Assure Lime, Assure, 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 Assure Lime. If I could speak, that would help. This is a captures the easy style and relaxed glamour of Mustique, a private, private island well i guess none of us is gonna know if it smells like that because they can just tell us anything and be like yes this is what the island smells like listen we're not in that tax bracket we're never gonna see this island but it's in the eastern caribbean it's a fresh 295 dollars fragrance oh it is lime water infusion which sounds very rich people it sounds like a rich people thing south african buchu australian sandalwood I'll smell it, but I will say I love citrus scents, but of all the different citrus notes, of all the different citrus notes I like to taste, I think lime is my favorite, but to smell, I think lime is my least favorite. So I'm gonna smell it, but I'm probably not gonna buy it. I also saw that Addison Ray was releasing, the, what app, okay, wow. Take two. Addison Ray used to have item beauty. It used to be available at Sephora. That brand is no longer. The brand is kaput. Uh, and I'm guessing this TikTok star now needs to find different ways to make money. I have never followed her because here's the thing. I don't love TikTok. I, I try to get into TikTok, but seeing, I'm, I say this with as little boomer energy as possible. But seeing kids dance online will just never be my thing. So I know very little about Addison Rae. I know very little about the, those like Dixie, D'Amelio, the D'Amelio girls. I know very little about them because it's not my journey. It's not what I watch. But she is releasing three different fragrances. It is Passionate AF, Effortless AF, and Confident AF. Really like the bottles. They look super cool. The packaging is really stunning. It is, it seems to be, all of them seem to be fruity fragrances because it is like liché, apricot, but then it's flowers and coconut cream and vanilla sugar, sugary. Then it is apple, red plum, uh, pineapple, and then it is orchids, lily again. It's fruits with flowers and then it's sandalwood and clean musk, so it's a little woody instead, instead of the sugar. And then we have black currant, watermelon, and strawberry, which sounds exactly what, what I want, but then it's jasmine, peony, vanilla, again, flowers with the sweetness. So I would never buy these blindly because I think that these are just, you remember the Escada summer scents, the ones that were super sweet and fruity? I feel like these are gonna be that. Just by reading the descriptions, maybe they're not, maybe they're not, but I, I can't tell from, from saying this. And it's only available at addisonrayfragrance.com. I'm sorry, I can't. $25 each though, that is great. That is an amazing price. That may have persuaded me. Huh. Last thing I wanted to talk about, and I'm going to touch on this briefly because I did get some tags in it and did get some people asking me, and it is a big release in the makeup community, and it's the new Eyeshadow Palette by Painted, which is the brand by James Charles. I don't personally uh, support James Charles. I don't know much about what's going on in the background. I feel like there are mistakes, and then there are mistakes and then there are actually doing illegal things. And I feel like he ends up in the corner of like actually doing illegal things. And I, I don't know, I don't think that, okay, I'm as a Swede, I always feel like there's a way back. Uh, I always feel like prison is not about being punished, it's about rehabilitation so that you can be a better person and get back into society. That's 
my view if you feel differently i 100 percent respect that so i don't think that anyone should be punished forever for doing something but i it, i I, I don't feel like he's never been like really genuine about truly understanding what people were upset about. At least this is the feeling that I've been getting. So it's like, maybe he needs to work a little bit more on conveying. How are you sorry for what happened? What have you done since then? How are you a better person now? Because again, as a person who don't really follow him, I'm like, it doesn't seem like me and a lot of other people have truly felt that regret and change let's say so for me this is not for me and even even if i wasn't a person that's like i'm not giving money to james charles at this point i don't feel like this palette is all that and i think a lot of people are like oh every brand needs a neutral palette i get that but this is if this it's just very generic um I mean, yeah, it's got pinks and yellow and, and, and some oranges. I'm sure you could do a lot of combinations. And I'm actually sure that if I had this palette, I'm sure I would do something fun. I think for me, I'm just always looking for that twist. That like something special. A, a little cool tone, a little grungy. There's a, a cream in there. There's happens to be one of the shades is a multi-chrome. There is a mix of a couple of pastels. Like, I think I need something at this point, in 2023, after review make for eight years, I feel like I need something to make me interested. And I feel like this palette, it hits all the notes, but sometimes that just makes something a little boring. So for me, this is a pass. Honestly, again, keep it respectful in the comments. Um, YouTube has a tendency of uh, clearing out some comments if they become what they think is either very rude or just very aggressive in tone. So it's not me deleting comments. It's YouTube saying that this probably shouldn't be on the platform. So if you're giving your opinions, try to do it in a way so that your comment doesn't get deleted. <laughs> Please and thank you. Okay, let me scooch over and we can uh, huh, clear this. Clear this? End this. Wow. I need lunch. But yeah, I hope you're having an absolutely, absolutely amazing, amazing day. I have so many things going on right now in my life that I am truly a little bit over, like under, underwhelmed, overwhelmed. Oh, lost my, lost my will to somewhat grammatically correct form sentences. But I will talk more about what's going on on the backs, like backstage, of course. I just cannot right now i will try and upload as usual um throughout november and december but I'm, we're all just hanging on by a thread over here i hope you're having an amazing day if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up maybe even leave a comment down below and just know just you staying until the very end watching this video that's the support a creator really appreciates because that's the best thing you can do for a video. Let's watch it to the very end. Bye!